Howdy, 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 my beautiful Libra. How you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, darling. All right, Libra, for June. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Libra, be sure to let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates, because that's how I keep up with y'all. Hello, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Join the family if you haven't already, darling. It's completely for free. Hello. And also, uh, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Libra, because that is how you make uh, general tarot readings on YouTube work. You start catering to your energy, darling. All right. So. So uh, let's just get right into the tea here, uh, Libra. See what it is that y'all are currently dealing with. <clears throat> All right. Back of the deck is the Page of Wands coming in here. I like this a lot for you, Libra. What you don't see coming to you guys at this current point in time is the opportunities that are about to be presenting themselves to you, Libra. I will get into why, how these opportunities present in a moment here. But what you mostly need to know at this point in time is that, Libra, right now you feel as if everything's stale, perhaps. You you don't really, ooh, girl, not me dropping it, breaking the moment, honey. But um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Libra, right now you need to be aware that even though this is a time of where you feel like it's a, at a pause, not really anything being created for you, that's actually just not the tea for you. Uh, it's not what the reality is. Uh, you have opportunity it's like i keep on being shown like doors opening for you libra and the reason why those doors are doors are open opening hello is the, this seven of cups ten of wands as well as the four of pentacles coming in the reverse here for you libra all right so this is why these opportunities are coming in here for some of you you libra might have been waiting for like a purpose you might have been waiting for a reason to start going forward with motivation right maybe libra you've been waiting for a point in time like the perfect timing uh for like releasing launching like a new project of yours or uh starting like your own personal side hustle whatever that is whatever your story is maybe even choosing to go out and have people perceive you libra right I get this message of vulnerability for you guys as well, Libra, where it's just this sense where you're just waiting for the perfect time. You're waiting for the perfect mood. You're waiting for the perfect self-esteem for yourself, some of you Libras, before you start taking action. All right. You're wanting to have the universe provide you a little bit of a taste of what you could manifest uh, should you actually apply yourself. But the thing about it is, Libra, is that you know what it is that you can manifest. That's why you're sitting there waiting for it, uh, waiting for some type of sign to start leaning into. Right. That I mean, logically, anyways, right. You wouldn't be waiting for a sign from the universe to let you know the, the potential, what it is that you can manifest, that you could actually have the fulfilling love life for some of you Libras that are trying to manifest love. Right that you could actually uh have it be part of your story libra to be successful in whatever endeavor that it is whatever your uh objective is for your life whether it's starting your own uh, knitting business whether it's even doing youtube on something on social media libra you wouldn't just be sitting there waiting for it to manifest for you if on some level you knew that it, like if on some level you didn't think that it would come to you all right Otherwise, you'd just be wasting your time. And so what I see you guys doing right now, Libra, is you're starting to finally apply yourself. If you you realize that you have to be the one to create that moment for yourself, you you realize uh, it's like some of you guys, uh, Libra, have started to intuitively intuitively know where it is your spiritual team is trying to direct you at this point in time. And it's like, you know that you need to start doing your part. And so I see a lot of you Libras finally like unburdening yourself from the baggages of the past, whether you've been struggling with trauma libra and been carrying that over each day just trying to keep your head above water some of you guys libra might have been fighting with depression whether for some of you libras you've been waiting until you feel your prettiest before you go out and uh, start dating or open up that dating profile libra right you're starting to uh, do the steps that would make you feel more uh, that would make you feel better about yourself libra right maybe you're starting to get into that workout routine right it, it's almost for you libra you are looking you're observing what it is that you want to manifest you're observing what it is that you want to accomplish in this lifetime for yourself libra and so now you're applying yourself more and being like all right i need to do x y and z to have these things accomplished this is the most focus that i've seen you libra it's like you're realizing uh where it is that you've been not applying yourself libra it's like you're realizing the because when you think about this four of pentacles in the reverse that's you pulling out your investment so you're starting to be honest with yourself libra and just the habits that you've been having or just 
where you've been putting your thoughts and energy into you're just like well that's not that's not productive to what it is that you're trying to create for yourself libra all right and so continue on with unburdening yourself continue on in the healing process libra all right i'm really happy for you guys here uh let's continue on though darling we really just went off on some, like four cards honey libra right <laughs> let's see what else is stepping forward to you guys <clears throat> All right, Libra. Ace of Swords coming in here, the Queen, as well as the Three of Cups coming in for you. And then in the back of the deck, Libra, we got the Ten of Swords here. Libra, you guys are going to be either, this is just you, or you personally, right? This might be your own personal journey here where you're just like, oh man, I wonder how these past relationships that I've had in my life, I wonder how they're doing, right? This is very much so the cliche Libra and you wanting to reach out to an ex or reaching out to situations um, that you had tower moments from, right? You want to start digging through the rubble and see if there's anything left saving in those old relationships and those old projects and what have you, Libra. And you guys need to start steering your way from yourself from that because i feel like a lot of the reason why libra you're feeling the way that you're feeling currently is just because for a lot of you guys due to this sense of like awareness that you have with yourself here right you're feeling you're most motivated than you will have ever felt in the coming days libra and so naturally for some of you guys overcoming uh depression libra all right you're going to be looking at these three of cups that are this three of cups in the reverse here these past situations and you're just like you know what let me bring them along all right you're you know you're feeling better about yourself maybe you're giving these old situations being like maybe they've grown libra and you're getting this message here where it's just like at this current point in time darling all right i'm not saying there's nothing speaking about this in a sense of finality here i mean with that ten of swords darling i feel as if for the 90 percent of you libras you have to just acknowledge that the past is the past which you know there's just, there's essentially libra nothing for you left in the past to dig through all right and so while i understand just from your tender heart to libra right we're children of venus darling uh that you want to just tend to these relationships now that you're from a more healed place spirit for whatever the reason is it's just saying that this is not in your best interest here and some of you guys might be tempted right because i'm being shown uh the snake in uh offering adam and eve or i guess it was eve in specific uh an apple right and so you might be tempted through either just your own personal thoughts libra or from out like these uh, old situations coming back in as well the thing about it is for you libra i think you need to just stay laser focused on your accomplishments right now on your objectives of what it is that you're wanting to manifest and because when you think about the queen of cups she's never actually holding a queen a cup she's holding like a trophy and she's always for the most part in most artwork she's depicted libra as someone that's hyper focused on the trophy and so it's like keeping her eye on the prize with the ace of swords here the, those new ideas libra all right you're really tapping into your creativeness i feel like again for many of you libras you're feeling like i get like this message of just like being just waking up or just finally libra accepting how things are for in your life and just like a lot of your barriers a lot of your insecurities are just down at this point in time you're just like this is who i am this is how i am let's continue on into the future for you libra right and so I feel like you just need to focus in on that. I feel as if these past situations at this current point in time, especially with that Ten of Swords in the reverse, I feel like there's just nothing left to be said, Libra. So it's like appreciate those situations for what they were and how they developed you to be who you are now, Libra. And now that you've healed from them, just keep it moving. All right. Don't don't go backwards. You don't heal from those old battle wounds. Just to go back to check out the battlegrounds. Right. So just keep focusing on you right now. Maybe at a later point in time, uh, spirit might talk about how it might be better for you to go back there all right but now let's focus in on the future here all right we have the temperance card coming in the reverse the moon energy as well as the wheel of fortune coming in here this is really powerful for you libra because the reason why spirit wants you to be hyper focused in on what it is that you're creating in the now and what it is that you're setting yourself up for in the future libra is that the the training wheels are off darling all right again i want you to remember libra that we had the page of wands in the back of the deck at the very beginning of your reading here which is really symbolizing doors just opening up for you from places that you just do not anticipate right and so it's just like random opportunities just presented out of nowhere that you personally feel extremely passionate about all right libra 
the training wheels are off that's what that temperance in the reverse i see this as with the wheel of fortune here all right with the moon energy it's just the world becomes your oyster here libra like any like this is the time of where i would say anything is truly possible for you at this point in time libra you that's why you want to just focus in on your energy and just keep it to yourself currently here you want to just make yourself the priority for now libra all right and on your own personal development here all right even if you're even if your situations involve social situations you don't want to allow those situations just to naturally grow but you don't put all of your energy into those relationships you still focus on the character development here all right that's really what spirit's really concerned about for you right now libra is getting too stuck on situations that just really would be taking of your energy right with this five of cups it's like it's it depicts an individual with their three cups that are empty here right and that's due to their situation at that current point in time libra and the dynamic with this is that if that person were to just to just shift their perspective if this person were to just look at the two cups libra that are filled in that new direction instead of being focused on their current situation of those three empty cups things like they have a new sense of direction they realize things are not as bad as they seem here so it's all about uh, for you right now libra is just keep yourself laser focused in on the objective all right uh that's really the message that we have for you here libra so uh let's close this off with an oracle reading darling and then i'll just leave you on your way honey hopefully this tarot reading was of resonance to you in some level though <clears throat> all right you have the wolverine card coming in here you're a lot tougher than you think you are libra all right some some of you need to just give yourself credit for what are the journey that you have been on up until this point libra you know i'll get a little bit intimate with you here libra and shares my own personal of how i can relate to it because i'm a libra scorpio cusp darling just this morning i and my regulars might even notice this as well this is like the most uh this is the time that i feel like the least depressed as, as i have ever felt libra and um for me i had to i wasn't giving myself the grace and the healing process that i needed to go through after dealing with like four years of intense life experiences whether not just in my story for some of you might know from escaping that cold and the, what I was exposed to with that but just you know I lived such an insane life for a while and I needed to have that period of time where I just healed all right and I wasn't giving myself the grace and I was just like you know what? it hit me today I was like you know healing at like healing four years of insane life experiences filled with trauma and what have you uh in nine months this is pretty good right and like I just gave myself more credit and that's how I feel like for a lot of you Libras is you need to give yourself more credit for the journey that you have been on up until this point all right because no one else is going to give you the roses that you deserve all right because no one knows the journey that you have gone on besides you the moon oracle card that we have for you very fitting is disseminating moon take time to breathe out so very fitting right just you know this is kind of like a setup with your oracle cards libra just remembering that you are that one that you are that bitch all right essentially here libra but um that's the tarot reading that i have for you darling libra hopefully you found some cards that did resonate with you as i said darling um if you did let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe as i said it's completely free honey all right and then libra if you want to book a private reading with me go on my website and only do readings through there simplyvelka.com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram if you want to connect on a more personal level uh is simply velka same as here i love you so much libra and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling